That's right. We're on live. We're going to get this thing done one way or another. What's up to y'all? So my name is Lemoyne Williams, and I also go by BlindOG83. Um, that's my YouTube channel. Um, and uh, what I do is I pretty much um, advocate for accessibility in mainstream video games. And uh, that is sort of like uh, two sides to uh, one coin. The first side is to um, let developers and studios know um, what type of barriers are keeping people who are totally blind like me from playing their games. And then the other side of that coin is to let people who are blind or visually impaired know what games that they can play in, uh, you know, that are, that are mainstream uh, video games. Um, I started playing video games when I was around, uh, around eight and I've always really been into uh, video games, pretty big hobby of mine. And uh, about eight years ago, I lost my vision. And I thought that I wouldn't really be able to play video games again. Um, so I was looking around on YouTube for videos on, um, you know, games that people who are blind could play. And I really only found videos where there were people who were visually impaired and they were playing, which is uh, not very useful for someone who is totally blind. So I started my channel. Um, just to give information to people who are totally blind about what, what? consoles are accessible and the best ones that are you know accessible um which studios and video games are actually taking accessibility seriously um as of right now accessibility is a very very big topic in uh in the video game world um and so you know games like madden um madden 20 which is uh which is created by a studio that is called EA Sports. And then, um, of course, Naughty Dog and The Last of Us Part Two, which is one that uh, has really gotten a lot of, of press, you know, in the last, uh, last month. So just uh, games like that. Um, there's also Gears 5, which is a, a really cool um, third person shooter game that is uh, accessible in the Horde game mode. Um, and so, yeah, just, you know, just things like that. I also, for my VG access page, I do articles, um, just letting people know about, um, how to get in contact with studios, um, you know, contact information and stuff like that. A lot of people, um, don't know how to, you know, get in contact with studio or sort of like how to word, um, letters to studios when they want to, um, they want to advocate for accessibility and so that's another thing that i you know help people out with um so yeah that's pretty much uh pretty much what i do um with uh video game accessibility how long have you been doing this and uh what are your favorite games that you that you like to play and are good and are good at um so i've been doing this for for a while like uh i've been doing this i think for about six years and i've just started really getting out into social media you know like creating like a twitter creating um my youtube channel which i created about three months ago and then my vg access page i created i think something like last month and i've gotten really really good um results from both of those because there's a lot of people who you know didn't even know that some of these games are accessible which is the main point um my favorite games i would have to say like my top three uh my first would be gears 5 and then second would be madden 20 as of right now and then my third is probably like uh mortal kombat as far as um how accessible you know each of those games are but uh yeah that's uh pretty much what i've been doing um 
just uh, shooting out lots of letters and lots of tweets and lots of emails to different studios um, just to push accessibility. And a lot of studios don't know that their games are not accessible because they most of them haven't really heard about accessibility. So, um, so their definition of accessibility is something like making making their games have closed captioning, which technically it is accessible, but we're trying to push um, accessibility further so that games are accessible to everyone. And Microsoft is one of the biggest, uh, you know, game developers that has uh, pretty much vowed for you know their products and their their games their consoles to be accessible to as many people as possible um playstation is is getting on the bandwagon um but you know like the playstation 4 is not as accessible as the xbox and then nintendo i haven't really heard much about accessibility from nintendo they're still lagging a whole lot you know so so the top three um, accessible consoles are number one is Xbox One for right now, and then the PlayStation Four is in second, and then the third is probably the the Switch, unless you count like um, like PCs as being accessible, then uh, or as a console, which which they are, I guess. So that would be you know actually in the first in the first spot as far as like accessibility and consoles. Okay, uh, and give people your contact information, your YouTube channel and all that so they can reach you because this is a very, very good good thing that you're doing. All right, so uh, so my YouTube channel is, uh, you can just look it up by uh, blind OG83. And then um, my Twitter is at blind OG83. And then my VG Access page is on uh, is on Facebook. You can either search it just by VG Access, or you can go to f.me slash VG Access, and you can find uh, you know a lot of the articles and things that I write on that page. That's definitely what I want. Okay, great. great. Any last minute um, things that you would like to share with us before we conclude? Uh, yeah, you know, just uh, if people are, are really wanting games to be accessible, like my number one thing that I tell people is don't just sit back and, and hope that a game becomes accessible. Like get out there and, um, and, and get those contacts and, you know, um, send letters, um, send tweets, you know, whatever you can do so that you can help push accessibility forward, you know, so that um, it becomes the gold standard instead of, you know, having games here or there that might be accessible or not. But, uh, you know, ha what we want is for everything to be accessible as far as video games and entertainment in general. You know, so, Man, thank you. Thank you. Well, I, I want to thank you for appearing on Third Eye Visions. Again, y'all definitely take advantage of this for all y'all gamers out there. I need to start getting into it, but my time is just so, so booked. But definitely, I want to bring you on to share this because it's a very commendable thing that you're doing. It's very needed and what have you. Again, thanks again, Lemoyne, for sharing your story on Third Eye Visions. Hey, no problem. Thanks for having me.